We've got the fire extinguisher, just in case this gets out of hand here. It seems like it could be a bad idea, but uh, here we go. Hello everyone, welcome back. For the last couple hours, I've been scouring TikTok for guitar hacks that range from, oh my goodness, how did I not know that? To, oh my goodness, why the f would anybody do that? Today, I'm putting these guitar hacks to the test. Let's dive into it and see how it goes. To kick things off, Kale Adams says that this might be the coolest guitar trick ever. There are a number of cool guitar tricks out there, so the competition is stiff. But let's see what you got, Kale. Take the first string, empty it. Now take the first string, take it out of the first string nut slot, and put it in the B string nut slot right there. Tune it up to match that B string. Now you get this cool bazooki tune. That is surprisingly cool. I'm gonna take this one step further. Instead of just pairing up my E and my B string, I'm gonna pair up my G and my D as well. Here we go. You get a cool chorusy effect because the two strings aren't perfectly in tune, but that warble gives this trick its mojo. Not hugely practical, but definitely a fun party trick. Yeah, that's a solid seven out of 10 in my books. Next up, Guitar Power Up presents The Poor Man's Wah. When you're too broke to buy a wah pedal. This is pretty straightforward. I take my paper clip, attach it onto my pickup toggle switch, and then take some rope, attaching one side onto my head, one side to my foot, and then I can use that to alternate between the darker and lighter pickups, which I guess will emulate a wah sound. Let's give her a try. It certainly wasn't practical, so I can only hope that it looked cool. I'm gonna give this one a two out of 10. All right, moving on. This next one looks interesting. It simply says, do you want to play? I do. Well, I guess we're making makeshift calluses here. I did say I was gonna try these, so here we go. I don't know why he attached his fingers to bottle caps, but I don't have bottle caps. So instead I'm gonna use guitar picks. All right, well, while I'm waiting for these to dry, I'm gonna take a quick second here to mention a hack of my own. If you have a guitar loving fellow in your life who you need to buy a gift for, for say, I don't know, Father's Day, you can knock that gift out of the park by picking up something from the sponsor of today's video, Original Grain. For example, this watch here, which is a collaboration with Taylor Guitars and uses the same reclaimed Hawaiian koa that Taylor does in their instruments. The dial detail is inspired by a Taylor headstock right down to the mother of pearl inlay. They have a wide range of products that are made from sustainable materials like 100% recycled ocean plastics, reclaimed military ammo wood crates, and reclaimed whiskey and beer barrels. So everything they offer has a distinct mojo to it. And check this out, you can also have them personally engraved making a great gift for Father's Day which is coming up real soon. So if you haven't got the dads in your life anything yet, consider this your reminder. But Original Grain has over 20,000 five-star reviews. They offer a buyback guarantee if you aren't satisfied. And you can find more information over at originalgrain.com samurai. And make sure you use promo code samurai to get 30% off anything they have to offer. Links as always in the description. I think these are dry. Not really sure why I was supposed to put the glue on plastic, but uh, them's were the instructions. And like that, I have glue calluses, just like I always wanted. Let's see what it's like playing guitar with glue calluses. How to describe this? Um, terrible, egregiously pointless. It started coming off right away and now my fingers look like they're shedding skin like a lizard. It felt like there was added friction and my fingers were sticking to the strings as I slid them around and also didn't even offer any added protection. There is no reason to do this whatsoever. If you're worried about your fingers hurting when you're first starting guitar, I'm sorry, don't put glue on them. Just tough it out like the rest of us. Zero out of 10. Drum hack for guitars. Okay, Bobby Jarvis Sr., let's see it. 
All right, well, this is simple enough. Take the lid of a can, attach it onto a guitar, and use that as a snare sound. Definitely happy that I'm using one of my cheaper guitars for this. No need to get cornflakes all over my Martin, but uh, setup is complete. Let's see how this goes. If you're doing like a DIY one-man band thing, I guess this could be kind of cool, but as annoying as drummers can be at times, I think I prefer the drummer. That's a five out of 10. Next up, Gifted Guitar has got one for us here. Let's check it out. That hack number two, deal with your saggy, sad trim bar. You want this, not this. Um, let me tell you, I've dealt with this issue angrily ever since I've owned a Strat. Tell me the way. I recommend getting some springs. You're looking at probably the least expensive genuine fender part you'll ever get. They come in a pack of 10 or something. You just take your trim bar off, drop it in, put your trim bar back on, and you're good to go. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this. That's what those springs are for? I've got a bunch of those springs in one of my cases. This is blowing me away. Holy f***ing shit, boys. That's a game changer, that's a 10 out of 10. Next up, Dylan Hennessy has got a super simple hack that he made up today. Okay. I think I just came up with a pretty cool guitar invention. Grab one ply of toilet paper, roll it up into a line, then weave it through the strings of your guitar, like this. Slide it to the very back of the instrument, and now we have a permanent palm mute. It doesn't sound like much on its own, but if we add some delay. <laughs> At first, I was like, yeah, this seems pretty stupid, but you couldn't get that palm mute in there with the two-handed stuff, and yeah, it sounds pretty awesome with delay. Let's see what I can come up with here. There's some vintage Fender Jaguar guitars that have a built-in muting device that essentially do the same thing as this. Those guitars sell for like $20,000. So what you're doing here is replacing a $20,000 guitar with a piece of toilet paper. Well done, that is a solid seven out of 10 in my books. Looks like Stu Weinberg has something kind of similar here. Let's check it out. To play guitar, you should try this out. Take a piece of paper and slip it underneath the strings near the bridge. Now you've got yourself a fake sitar. Strings ringing out and buzzing against this paper are going to give it that texture. It seems kind of fun. Let's try it out. So guess what? There's also a vintage guitar that does this kind of thing. It's called the Dan Electro Coral Sitar, and you can forgo buying one of those if you have a post-it note. I gotta give some points for saving the good people of TikTok thousands of dollars, but I've also got to dock some points because it doesn't sound very good. It sounds like a fly buzzing around your guitar. Four and a half out of 10. Here's another one from Bobby Jarvis who says he thought he'd seen everything. I can't believe I've been playing guitar for 25 years and no one ever told me when you play an acoustic guitar with a bottle top, it sounds like an electric guitar. <laughs> How much that? Okay, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work like that. But you know we gotta try it. Well, I'll be. All right, here's one from Melinda Music who is gonna show us her favorite cheat code. Let's see it. Instead of having your guitar tuned to the standard E, A, D, G, B, E, you're gonna tune your guitar to C, G, C, G, C, D. So then your fretboard corresponds with wherever you are on the scale for your bass line. So for example, on my second fret, we have a minor two, minor three, four. You're just sliding around. And obviously you're getting these really cool folksy voicings with that at the top. All right, so what we got here is an open C sus tuning with a two on the top, and then I guess you just fret the bottom three strings all in the same fret while the top two strings ring out. I like where this is going. Uh, let's see what I can come up with. I 
I've been playing guitar for over 20 years. How did nobody show me this? That sounds so good. It's so easy. 10 out of 10. All day that's a 10 out of 10. And last for today, we've got another one from Guitar Power Up. When you need a guitar slide in a pinch. This is for all those times when you're on a gig, the band leader calls an Allman Brothers tune, but you don't have a slide. However, you do have an oven mitt, a lighter, some thread, a little bottle of booze, a jar of ice water, a shot glass, a nail polish remover. I've got the fire extinguisher, just in case this gets out of hand here. It seems like it could be a bad idea, but uh, here we go. Well, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but I can't get this bottle to break. And I also realized, why would I not just play slide with the shot glass? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, testing out guitar hacks from TikTok. Remember, Father's Day is fast approaching, and if you want to spoil your dear old pops, check out the sponsor of today's video, Original Grain, and if he's a guitar player, then let me recommend their collaboration with Taylor. And if your father doesn't happen to be in your life, then hey, maybe you want to buy a watch for yourself to make yourself feel better about that unfortunate fact. Um, but anyways, you can find more information at originalgrain.com samurai, and remember to use promo code samurai to get 30% off anything they have to offer. Links, as always, are in the description. Thank you all for watching. If you want to check out another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you want to check out some of that Sammy G merch, you can find that at shopsamuraiguitarist.com. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and stay tuned for a wide range of musical content. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.